In FeatureCam 2014, we've introduced an even easier collision-free programming method by automatically avoiding clamps or fixtures. The clamps are chosen in exactly the same way as you would do if you were doing it for simulation, but now we have a new option that allows us to collision check against them. This does require the new technology toolpaths for both the roughing and finishing to check against these clamps. We could also individually control the axial and radial allowances within this option. In this example I have a bracket part and I've also got a number of pre-created features in this case a hole pattern, some pockets, some sides and then just a single pass face across the top. If I run through a 3D simulation just to have a look at the part we can see our hole drilling it's going to speed up the process a bit and I get my component like so. Clearly we can see here that we've machined all the way around our stop material. In this particular instance, I've actually got a number of clamps in here. If I go to the solids area, you can see they're already located here, but I've stored them on a different level. Let's go ahead and bring those back, just by going to my layer dialog and turning on the clamps layer. You can reshade those up, and you'll notice these are being positioned around the part to hold the material in place as we machine the component. However, if I go ahead and select these as my fixtures, I'm going to say use solid as clamp. And in my simulation, I'm going to turn on my pause on gauge and show pause on gauge dialog. Let's rerun through that same 3D simulation. There's my clamps and fixtures. Straight away, you can see we get a, a collision. If I try and continue to play, it will continue to collide. If I turn these options off and then play through, we can see we've machined away the clamps. So in the previous version we introduced the option to go into these features so for example side one and then as long as we are using the strategy for NT uh, roughing and NT finishing we could then go to the dimensions tab and check, check the check surfaces for this particular feature type. In this case I can include all these clamping uh, and fixture elements. However, the new option does this automatically without me needing to select these. Once I've identified these as being a used solidus clamp, we then have an option under the manufacturing area in the machining attributes. Under the milling tab, you'll see there is a button that says clamp avoidance. In this case, I can go into this option and you'll see you have automatic clamp avoidance. We can turn that on and we can set our value. In this case, I'm going to set an allowance value of 1mm and say OK. Note that you can also have an additional axial allowance uh, and this will separate the two out to be axial and radial. Let's accept that and this time play our simulation. So in this case I've done nothing different except turn that option on and you can clearly see that we've left upstands of material around the component where we've avoided those clamps and fixtures. This makes the process of collision avoidance much, much easier and much safer when we're going to machine our parts for real.